2024 Republican presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy joins us now with more. I don't know. (laughs) Sorry, all my rowdy friends are here tonight. Um, So first you get Don Lemon fired, which, by the way, I can't thank you. I don't like firing, but the guy had nobody watching him anyway. The fact that we actually played that segment on this show was the biggest audience he ever had in his life. Um, But then you have this run in and you go, do you know this as a scientist? He knows you're not a scientist, but you you answer, you go, yeah, if you have two X chromosomes, you're a woman. You have an X and a Y, you're a man. And that's what nature tells us. Uh, And I'm thinking, what a dumbass question on his part. (laughs) It really was. It really was kind of a funny exchange. And the funny part, Sean, I didn't even want to bring it up, is I graduated from Harvard with a degree in biology. I didn't want to throw those facts at him. (laughs) I actually just stuck to the basic facts, which everyone understands what it means to be a man and what it means to be a woman. That is what it means to stand for truth. And the funny thing is, take the Chuck Todds of the world, okay? A lot of the left said for years that the sex of the person that you're attracted to is hardwired on the day you're born. That was the core premise of the gay rights movement. And yet now they say your own biological sex is completely fluid over the course of your life. Those two things cannot make sense at the same time unless you're subscribing to a sort of cult. And that's what this LGBTQIA plus movement has become. It's not about logic. It's a cult, which is why, Sean, I like going on those programs. Don Lemon, Chuck Todd, you name it. I like going on and having that debate on the other side's home but turf like and on winning. This show a lot That's what we're going to do. Mean, it's, yeah. uh, oh, this is I'm fun. Only kidding. <laughs> well, I used to do all those shows. I did the Today Show. I did ABC Good Morning America. I even did that hard-hitting news show called The View. Um, <laughs> yes. Well, was not the most pleasant experience of my life, I'll tell you that. But you said something else that was very reasonable that people have not picked up on. And you said, look, somebody becomes 18 years old. At that point, if they want to make that decision... They're now old enough as an adult, pretty much 18, uh, to make that decision, and they should be free to make that decision. Uh, The part I have a problem with is when you have teachers in schools wanting to indoctrinate a captive audience of kids, uh, talk about gender identity and talk about, you know, sexual uh, material that is not age appropriate. And meanwhile, these kids can't read, write, do math, science, and know nothing about history and nothing about computers. If they do that job first and they want to have an after school program on gender identity that kids can opt into, I'd be for that. Absolutely. And here's what I say is here's my deal with this LGBTQIA plus, especially the trans cult. OK, dress how you want, behave how you want as an adult, live your life freely, but leave our kids alone and do not demand that we change our language or the way we live our lives. We can all live peaceably that way. So. In the name of rights, what they've actually done, Sean, is created a new culture of oppression in the opposite direction, imposing that on kids. I'll tell you this. I was campaigning in New Hampshire. I met two young women. It was a sad story. Both of them, when they were teenagers, had their breasts cut off, had chemical intervention. One of them had her uterus removed. She now wants to have children. She won't be able to. This is sad that we live in a country that allows us to do that to these kids. There isn't a state in this union that allows you to get a tattoo. Why on earth are you allowed as a kid to get genital mutilation and chemical castration instead? So that's what I'm going to deliver as president. This is eminently reasonable, and I think it can actually unify our country. All right, Vivek Ramaswamy, thank you for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, we turn now to Brittany Griner, who wasted no time diving into politics during her first presser since uh, being freed from...